It's super important to confirm the scope of works in order for you to provide the best possible service to your client and avoid wasting everybody's time now, which includes yours, the suppliers, contractors, and the clients. The first thing you need to do once you receive plans is spend the time writing up a scope of works for every trade and supplier. I know this sounds like a lot of work, but if you're following this process, you should be charging a fee as another professional in the preliminary stages of all of your projects. We use QuoteSpec to provide our clients the best possible proposal for all of our projects as it has a full list of categories and items that we can then use to show our scopes of works and it also allows us to send the scopes of works and plans out to our suppliers and contractors directly for pricing. Using QuoteSpec or some form of software is a great way to show your clients how professional you are. We like to spend the time doing a scope of works for everybody first as we like to send it to our clients for approval prior to anyone starting to price the project. This way, the client can agree to everything first and you can save lots of time by only pricing things once or twice, rather than multiple times to bring the job back to a budget. We put together a scope of works based on all the design meetings, preliminary plans, and most importantly, project budget. By us setting the scope based on the project budget, we can make sure that the level of finish allows for us to make the required profit we need from the project. This normally happens the other way around. You price for the client's wish list and then waste hours and hours of time redoing the quote several times to try and achieve a budget. By doing it this way, once you've priced it and it's close to budget, it's easier for you to increase the level of finish and price it than reduce it. Remember, this only works if you've been involved right through the design stage and had cost input along the way. If you have no idea on your client's budget and you haven't been involved through the design stage, you're flying blind and will waste lots of time pricing projects over and over again every time the client has to make a design change to meet their budget. Because we have such a great process and our clients are committed to us early, we put a lot of time into our scopes of work. This document then becomes part of our contracts once the client had agreed to our price. By doing this, you can cut back on all the doubling up of paperwork and the document can then be used for everyone, including admin, supervision, suppliers, subcontractors and clients. We put enough detail into our quote proposals that everyone involved in the project can pick it up, see what the pricing is and read it with clarity. Use it as a supervisor's checklist to check what's happening on site and clients can even pick selections from the information provided in it. Once you understand how valuable and important the quote proposal can be, you won't just see it as a cost estimate.